Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 25th episode of the Remnant Tutorial Series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to record animations and blend them in your animation blueprints. So basically, we'll be taking this um, pistol animation and this let the leg animation from here to record it and create this animation. Um, a member of my Discord mentioned this a little while ago, and I figured I'd record a video on it since it's definitely a pretty useful one to know how to do. You'll be able to have more um, customization over your animations. It's so basically you'll have this nice sprinting animation made out of the pistol and the lower body. So without further ado, we will get into setting that up. Okay, so now that I have my project loaded up here, first thing we're going to do is go into our animations, character animations, pistol animations, and our ALS um, one-handed no curves. Right click this, and we're going to duplicate it, and we'll call this the pistol upper body sprint. And this will only be a temporary, an temporary animation. We need to keep this. We we'll want to open this up. And we'll notice that we'll have all these frames spamming through. We went through this in a previous video, but if you have it, you're just here for learning how to do this recording animations. Then I'm going to show you how to get that animation out of the ALS V4 animations as well. So you want to go into here, find your animation. I want to use the one with the without the leg movement. So remove all the frames before Let's scroll all the way to the end and remove frames from zero just gonna do this to make sure there's no x frames hidden in there because sometimes there could be a single frame here at the end but it doesn't seem to be so that's okay we have our our body animation and we have our rifle sprint forward which is We'll open this in a new window so we can have two of them open at once. So now that we've done that, we're going to want to go to our animation blueprint. This is where we're going to do our recording. And in our atom graph, we're just going to disconnect this for now. And in here, we're going to get a layered blend per bone and plug that in. It's just a temporary plug-in. Blend our animations and we're going to get the rifle sprint forward as our base pose and our blending pose is going to be pistol upper body sprint once you do that you can compile and you'll notice it'll have just this plane because there's no bones blended so you'll want to come in here spine or actually we're going to do clavicle underscore R because we're just going to get the arm blending so we can get some arm movement in here as well. It'll look a little nicer this way. And we're going to mesh blend the scale right here. Override. And we're going to add another one. So we have two of these and it's going to be the clavicle underscore L. And I'm going to blend this too. And now if we compile and save, we'll have our pistol running animation right here. Or And you can use it for a rifle if you really wanted to, but you'll have the animation. And so now that we have this, let's look at this will blend nicely for the arms. If you wanted to do another one for anything else, you just copy this, paste it, blend your two animations, for example, and you do normally you do spine underscore O one. You delete this and you just have your spine 01 for most animations and that will give you your upper and lower body blend
I'll comment that, but we're gonna use this, plug this in like so, plug this in here, compile and save. We have that animation, you wanna click record, go to your animations, choose your destination, we'll, we'll do here, and this will be our pistol sprint. And then we'll just record it for like, I don't know, I'm just going to do three seconds to make sure you get every single frame and you stop it. And then you just plug this in like that and you'll have your normal locomotion back and keep this here for future references. You can use it to record other animations. You can mess around with it and test it yourself if you have any ideas. If you find it, do anything cool, it'd be pretty cool to see what you have posted in our Discord showcase. Um... Okay, we have our animation created, and yeah, that's about it for building your, making your animation. Our character pistol, and you know, your pistol sprint, you can click play, and bam, you have your animation, but you'll notice you have a lot of extra frames. This is the one little tedious part, you'll want to make sure your frames end and start in the same, so for this one it's around frame 18 or 20, you can go up beyond the point. For example, and keep taking a frame away till it start frame by frame. So keep, keep removing it frame by frame until you stop getting the clicking basically in your animations. Gonna look at mine, make sure that's good. I'm trying to remove one more frame. Um. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that. So there's 20 frames. So I can click Control Z to get rid of that final one that I deleted. And there will be our animation. And you can, and we, when we set this up, I'll do some blending to make it look, to make it blend in and out of animations nicely. Um, that's going to be for everything for this episode. In the next episode, we'll work on setting up our pistol animations. I just wanted to quickly record this so, uh, it could be its own separate video in case some people wanted to know how to record animations specifically. Uh, thanks. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave those in the comments section below or join my Discord community. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.